Father is now facing charges after police say a toddler was shot and killed Sunday. Jabbar Scott is charged, facing a preliminary charge rather, of neglect of a dependent resulting in death. IMPD says the boy got a hold of a gun and accidentally shot himself inside the home on Killing Avenue Friday night. Court records say a two-year-old was also nearby when it happened. They say Scott sat the gun on the couch when he went to the bathroom. That's when he says the gun went off. We say they also found evidence of cocaine use inside the home. This year alone, 14 children have passed through the doors of the Riley Hospital for Children Emergency Department to be treated for gunshot wounds. And sadly, not all of them made it. Our Russ McQuaid was granted some rare and exclusive access to the state's only level one trauma center for children to witness the fight to keep Indiana's youngest gunshot victims alive. It's amazing work they do inside the Riley ED and today we are the only team that's ever been inside to watch them at work. Riley tracks the number of kids who have been wounded and delivered to its emergency department. So far this year there have been seven accidental and seven intentional pediatric gunshot victims. When a child gunshot victim arrives in the Riley Emergency Department, there's an immediate process that begins with many health care professionals getting involved. Since 2018, Riley's Emergency Department has treated 220 pediatric gunshot victims, typically those 16 years old and younger, and they're from all across the state, though 80% of those young patients come primarily from Marion County. And 63 of the total number of gunshot wounds were determined to be accidental. Maybe the child or someone nearby mishandled a gun that went off. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention report firearms-related injuries are the leading cause of death for Americans ages 1 to 19. Anyone who cares for kids or anyone who thinks about kids, whether you're in the medical profession or not, certainly have seen this epidemic of, uh, of firearm injuries as disturbing. One doctor we spoke with this morning who works in the unit told me there's a better way to make a living than patching up kids with gunshot wounds in the middle of the night. Coming up at 5 o'clock, what the medical professionals who treat Indianapolis's youngest gunshot victims think about protecting our kids from injuries due to firearms. Aaliyah? Russ, thank you.